Something is haunting Riverdale High. What is this frightening unseen entity inhabiting Riverdale High? And what does it desperately need from Archie? Something is haunting Riverdale High. Reverse the Scanatronic Matrix capacitor. This oughta do it. Yeah. Or maybe not. <sighs> maybe this was an extremely foolhardy endeavor to embark upon. The plan seems so simple. I'd invent the multi dimensional frequency modulation radiation device. Then I'd win the school science fair. Then the Nobel Prize. Then I'd become rich and famous. And then maybe people would visit me here in the lab a little more often. Huh? <gasps> no! Keep away! Mark your calendars, pals and gals. Tomorrow's the day Reggie Mantle will make history. You mean for the first time in your life, you'll actually pick up the bill at Pop Tate's chocolate shop? Huh? What? Someone's picking up the bill at Pop Tate's? I'm there! <laughs> <laughs> ha! You all scoff because you're jealous. Tomorrow at lunch, I give my presentation to the coin club. After I'm done, I'm sure the coin club will want to erect a monument to commemorate my presentation. Coins. Big deal. Back to dreams of hamburgers dancing in my head. All this fuss over a bunch of coins. Now, if it were jewelry, that would be different. Do you have some special coins in your collection, Reggie? Do I have some special coins in my collection? Ha! Take a look at this. Cool! A mint 1912 Baltimore Bullock 7 cent piece. There were only three of those made. Do you know what this is? Yes! A mint 1912 Baltimore Bullock 7 cent piece. There were only three of those made. This is a mint 1912 Baltimore Bullock 7 cent piece. There were only three of these made. <sighs> I guess I'll just quietly sit here and pretend I don't exist. What else is new? Class, class. Eyes up front. Moose, Midge, no hand holding until after class. That's better. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. There's no breeze in here. Now, class, if you'll open your books to the first chapter and... Huh? <laughs> Betty Cooper, start reading from the second paragraph. Oh! <laughs> Betty, read! The towers of Ilium aspired above the morning mist. Hmm. I'm telling you, Jughead, those papers sliding from Miss Grundy's desk. Classic poltergeist phenomena. No offense, Arch, but everything's a classic poltergeist phenomena to you. You've got poltergeist on the brain. I do not. A leaf falls off a tree. <laughs> a poltergeist did it. A storm knocks down a power line. <gasps> poltergeist again. An oven preheats to 350. Oh, no! 
A poltergeist haunts the kitchen. Laugh it up, Hal. But when a poltergeist pickpocket takes all your hamburger money, just don't come crying to me. Hey, guys, I'm looking for... Oh, yeah, we saw Moose heading back that way. Actually, I'm looking for... Moose was on his way to football practice. So what do I have to do to prove to you that Poltergeist built Stonehenge? It would take at least seven hamburgers at Pop Tate's. Arr, I'm looking for the spare gym mats. Holding hands with Moose is not my only function in life. If you weren't so wrapped up in your own lives, you'd know that. Moose is into gymnastics? That's enough paperwork for today. Day in and day out. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. <sighs> Just once, I wish something different would happen. Huh? Anyone there? Hmm, must have been my imagination. If this is some young hooligan's idea of a prank, he or she will have plenty of time to regret it during a week's worth of detention. Look, crying out loud. If you want to play hide-and-go-seek, I know every nook and cranny of this school. I, I didn't mean it. No detentions. You wanted to see me, sir? Sit down, Archie. <clears throat> Am I in trouble for something, sir? I've been reading your weird mysteries column the past few months. Frankly, I didn't put much stock in it. Spooks and goblins and aliens and werewolves. A lot of balderdash, I thought. Sir, I protest. That's what I used to think. But now... Archie... Have you noticed anything unusual around Riverdale High School the past few days? You mean like the stapler on your desk? It's been doing that off and on all morning. Whew. Yep, sir. It's classic poltergeist phenomena. Ah, so you've had experience with this sort of stuff before. I knew you were the man for this job. Here! This is a golden hall pass. It grants you full access to the entire high school and exempts you from class. You'll need it. What for? I need you to get rid of this poltergeist phenomena. Do whatever it takes. Set traps, burn incense, spray poltergeist repellent. Just get it off my campus. You can count on me, sir. Nothing here. What? Hmm. 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, hi, Betty. According to my investigation, most of the strange occurrences happen close to the lab. Doesn't seem to be anything suspicious right now. Uh-oh. Me and my famous last words. Uh, Mr. Poltergeist, sir, I was wondering if you could stop haunting Riverdale High School. Ah! Or not. It's just a suggestion. I take it all back. You can haunt Riverdale High School all you want. I'll tell you what. I'll come back later, when you aren't so busy. Yow! Never read about that in any of the poltergeist manuals. Spooky. I'm feeling sort of strange. Oh, 
Okay, I'll start with the Fortner 1961 First Day Press Penny. Hey, Reggie, you won't believe what just happened to me. And then build to the mid-1912 Baltimore Bullock Seven Cent Piece. That'll really wow the coin club. How could someone be so wrapped up in coins that he can't notice the world around him? No, really, Veronica. Babbitt's a great book. It's about a man who can't escape the limitations of small-town life. You should read it. Hey, girls! The most incredible thing happened to me. Oh! Babbitt can't escape the limitations of small-town life? I have the same problem. Riverdale is always four months behind the Paris Whoa. fashions. Oh! I've always wanted to be closer to Veronica, but that was too close. What's happening to me? Watch me make an outside shot. Hey, watch it. She shoots, she scores. Betty Cooper has just led her team to the championship. Come on, champ. Daddy's going to ground me if you don't help me get a better grade on my geometry test. World champion Betty Cooper leaves the court to tutor Veronica Lodge on equilateral and isosceles triangles. And the crowd goes wild. They didn't even see or hear me. It was like I wasn't even here. Hiya, Arch. Huh? Jughead, buddy, you can see me. Nah, that's too cheerful. Hello, Archie. <laughs> uh, Jughead? Nah, that's too depressed. Ah! Jughead! Hello, Archie. Can I borrow some money for hamburgers? I spent my allowance helping some orphans. Yep, that's the right tone to take. Yuck! Archie will take pity and loan me a 20 for that sob story. Ew! I think my hand just went where too many hamburgers have gone before. No one can see me, hear me, or touch me. That orange glow in Dilton's lab, it must have turned me into a ghost. Why don't you watch? Dilton, you knocked me over. A rather obvious observation, but true nevertheless. You can see and hear me. Yes, to both. Are you guys okay? You can see and hear me too. He's catching on quickly, isn't he? So what's causing all this weirdness? Behold the culprit, the multi-dimensional frequency modulation radiation device. The what? <laughs> it was going to revolutionize the housing industry by creating additional space from other dimensions. A one-room apartment could become a 30-room mansion. Sounds like a great idea. Certainly, if it worked. But something went horribly wrong. It activated and transformed me into this ghost-like state yesterday. I didn't even notice you were gone. Well, except when someone needs assistance in a scientific matter, I sometimes go for days without anyone speaking to me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. It would be pleasant to relax the chocolate shop with some friends now and again. You will, buddy. After we get out of this mess, I promise. My theory is that the pulse of radiation from the multidimensional frequency modulation radiation device shifted our molecular structure just out of phase with the rest of the world. Hilton, you have to come up with shorter names for your inventions. What a mouthful! So how did you get transformed, Midge? I went down to the storage room in the basement to look for the spare gym mats when I was hit by an orange glow. I thought you were looking for Moose. I'm not just Moose's girlfriend, you know. I have interests. I'm studying gymnastics. After college, I'm going to be a stunt woman. She found me a few hours later. Apparently, my <clears throat> device pulses that orange glow at regular intervals. Look at that. Look, nothing up my sleeves. Big Ethel's pretty good at magic. Who knew? She's never done this in public. Maybe the public never paid attention when she did it. Huh? Ta -da! Now for my next trick. Well, that was pretty cool, but it wasn't my next trick. Uh, where did you guys come from? And how long have you been there? It's worse than I suspected, Archie. Every time the pulse activates, it gets larger. 
Next time, it will fill the whole town. And then, Riverdale will become a real ghost town. <sighs> huh? We've got to warn them. We've already tried. No one noticed. In this state, we have virtually no effect on the physical world. Go ahead. See how hard it is to move those papers. Huh? Concentrate and focus on the papers. <laughs> Whoa! That was tough. That should hold you. See? It took all your strength just to move some paper. Although, for some reason, it wasn't hard to click Mr. Weatherby's stapler or bang open the lockers. It's unfortunate that no one seems to know Morse code at this school. Wait a minute. Both the lockers and the stapler are made of metal. Why, I'll be super amalgamated. Of course, the molecular density of metals allows us to still touch and hold them. So we can still touch and hold anything metal. And we can hardly move or touch anything else. So why don't we find a metal tool in your lab and use it to flip your device into reverse? I tried. The spillover radiation makes it next to impossible to even get close to the device. It's like trying to push a boulder up a hill. Hey, there's some pretty fun things about being a ghost, like walking through walls. Reggie's setting up his presentation for the coin club next door. Now I can get a better look at that 1912 Baltimore Bullock seven cent piece. I've got a plan, but I need everyone's help. You mean I'll get to help you with one of your weird mysteries? Cool. I've always wanted to be in your column. Sure, why should Betty and Veronica have all the fun? Let's do it. Okay, Reggie, the entire coin club will be here in a moment. Just stay calm and let your magnificence shine forth. Boy, even when he's nervous, his ego is enormous. All right, Big Ethel, do your magic. Okay, but I've never done this in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, that's mine. Now you see it? Now you don't. Whoa. <laughs> We're counting on you to get the coin and Reggie to the lab, Midge. We'll meet you there. Good luck! Okay, tall, dark, and conceited. Are you looking for this? There you are! Huh? Uh. I think the fish has noticed the bait. Come back here! Huh? Huh? <laughs> The guy at the coin shop didn't tell me that it could do that. It must be worth a fortune. Stand aside, Mantle the Magnificent coming through. <sighs> I'm gonna have to practice that move a little bit more. Aha! I've got you cornered. Not if I can help it. Ah. Huh? <sighs> I'm going to make a great stunt woman. Get ready, here comes the coin and Reggie. Uh, uh, ow! That had to hurt. Okay, Midge, I'll take it from here. This better happen soon. The device is about to pulse again and turn the whole high school into ghosts. All right, coin, now it's personal. Aha, there you are. I've got to... Push this to the reverse switch. Uh, uh, uh. The radiation is pushing Archie back from the device. He's got to get to the switch before Reggie snatches the coin. Yeah! Ha! Now you're mine again! Huh? Hey! Where'd you guys come from? Archie, quick! Get in front of the dish before it's too late! What are you talking about? Archie's not here! 
Oh no! I can't shut it off! It's going to pulse again! Relax, Dilton. It's covered. I'm confused! You're always confused, Reggie. Get used to it. Don't let it get you down, big guy. That was quite an adventure. Oh, Archikins! Huh? Oh, Archikins, I have five free tickets for the movies. We've got one ticket left. Want to come and keep me company? Well, it's back to the lab. It was fun while it lasted. At least I had a great adventure. Time to disappear, I guess. Not tonight, Veronica. I'm going to spend the evening with some of my other friends. A toast to good friends. To, to good, good friends. Because they're quiet, shy, don't quite wear the right clothes, or aren't as flashy as the more popular kids, some kids feel invisible. I was guilty of treating Dilton, Midge, and Big Ethel like they were invisible by not really paying attention to them. When Dilton's invention went awry, it reminded me to notice and appreciate all the good people in my life. I hope you do too. It's a lesson I was grateful to learn in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs>